I got it. The most epic plot humanity can conceive of. The protagonist has an incredibly deep backstory. The characters are well fleshed out. And the conclusion... Oh, I get tears just thinking about it. I gotta write this down. If this has happened to you, you're not alone. Hi, I'm Laura Misvaria. I'm a writer, and I think I can help you, Chris. Ah! How did... Where are you? Where'd your voice come? How do you know who I am? I watch you. On the internet. Your videos. Oh. Okay. But... How can I hear you now? <clears throat> uh, moving right along. Tip one, if you're lacking inspiration, music is the key to ignite your creative streak and create a powerful scene. This has something that has really helped me when I'm trying to make sure I get across the right tone for my writing scenes. On the internet, you can find anything from melancholy music for your sad scenes to epic dramatic music for your action scenes. Oh, and movie soundtracks are a great resource. Some writers like complete silence, and some like a general buzz. But no writer can get anything done with a blaring TV, constant cell phone notifications, and worst of all, the internet. So, if you need to do any internet research for your writing, do it in advance, then unplug. Ah! That's better. The most inspiring, gripping stories and most sympathetic characters have involved intense anguish. I mean, you wouldn't have sit through nine hours of The Lord of the Rings if Frodo and Sam had just been sitting in a field picking dandelions, would you? And they certainly wouldn't have had any time to show any of their heroic qualities. So, basically, torture your protagonists. <laughs> villain more motivation than simply the evilness of their stone-cold heart. Some people forget that villains have to be well-rounded characters too. Evil cackling and kidnapping maidens isn't gonna cut it. You have to give your antagonist realistic motivations and even good qualities to make them believable. Toni Morrison said, I wrote my first book because I wanted to read it. You know, the same is true for me and really should be true for any writer. Even if you're writing for an audience that's different from you, we all want the same things out of a story. If you don't get excitement, emotion, and entertainment from your own writing, you can't expect anyone else to. <sighs> Chances are that whatever makes you laugh, cry, and love your characters will also do the same for your readers. And that's it! Hopefully your writing should improve. Okay, one final question. Go for it. Who are you, and how did you get here? Uh, um, wake up! <sighs> I know I'm weak now. <laughs> Those are all just nightmares. I'm really... This is... This is reality. <sighs> and there really is no one stalking me. <sighs> yeah. Just... Just gotta check... Facebook.